This is just a quick uh, update on the Leica R6.2 video I did and it's basically to cover a couple of things I missed in the first one. The first thing is the eye diopter adjustment button which is here just to the side of the eyepiece and the way you do that is you just get out of it, pull it and turn it uh, clockwise or anti-clockwise to adjust for different eyesight. Uh, it does actually spin without pulling it out but it isn't actually adjusting it at that point. The other feature I forgot to mention is the viewfinder cover which is activated by this little dial here and the best way I found to operate it is just put your thumb on it and you turn it anti-clockwise and you know the eyepiece cover is in uh, when you can see the little triangle and then obviously you can uncover it again like that uh, another couple of things I just want to show you because uh, last time I had the film loaded I uh, just wanted to fire the shutter so you could hear the sound of the shutter firing that's at one two fifths of a second and I found that the mirror is quite soft on the upswing but when it comes back down it makes a, a, a quite a, a loud clunk as you, as you can hear and uh, you do feel a slight vibration through the camera as well but as I say because it's when the, uh, the, the mirror is coming down it doesn't affect the uh, exposure I'll just fire the shutter at a few different settings at one second get a nice mechanical sound and also and I don't know why but uh, on one two fifths of a second you get a, a funny whirring sound after the, the shutter is fired and according to the manual it is normal but why it just does it at that speed I don't know so I'll just fire it at one two fifths of a second. The other thing I'd just like to show you is the film loading. And uh, I mentioned in the other video, you just pulled the rewind crank up fully to open the back. And quite a few people don't like the film lo loading on this, think it's a bit strange. But uh, apparently, the way Leica has done it is so you can actually load the film with one hand, so I'm going to try that now <laughs> and hopefully not completely fail for you so what you do first, instead of putting the cartridge in to that side, you put it actually into this side first with the film leader and what they say is you, you put the leader in so it covers two of the uh, little gaps there and then once it's done that you just can pull it over and drop it down push down the rear crank, crank sorry uh, you can see I did that with one hand whereas normally when you're loading film it tends to take two hands to do it so I can just slightly advance the film to make sure it's in the sprockets close the back and then I can advance the film to the first shot and it's ready to take a picture and as you, say, as you know uh, you can check if the film's loaded correctly by watching the uh, rewind crank turn when you advance the film uh, to rewind the film simply pressing the button which releases the sprocket inside and then you can put the rewind crank rewind until you feel the tension go and then you can put the back, take the film out. And there you go. And that's just a quick look inside the back as well, just show you the uh, shutter curtain. So there you go, just a quick update on my like video, just cover the few points. And uh, say I've run a film through it and I've not processed it yet, but uh, hopefully I'll get some good results. Look out for the next video.